Okay, now the story in Shutter Island is overall fantastic, I have to admit. Now, you know I'm terrible at explaining stories, so you know what? This time, I'm really not going to explain the story. I'm just going to say it's Martin Scorsese, so it really is a fantastic story in this uh, movie. Now, like I said, I am terrible at t telling stories. I mean, I really would like to. I mean, I could tell, like, row, row, row your boat. That's a song, but, you know, it has a message, like, keep rowing your boat, you're fucked. Uh, but... Yeah, I can't. I just can't tell stories, so I'm sorry if you don't know what this is. Just check the description or something. I might put a little uh, description of the movie. I probably won't. You can just find it anywhere. So why do you need me to tell you the story? It's simple. I mean, come on. I'm not gonna explain it. So let's just go on to acting, and I'll talk more about that and uh, my last uh, my last category, wherever the hell that will be. So yeah, overall the story was good. Okay, now the acting in the film overall was also just fantastic in this movie. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm not the hugest fan of him, but oh my god, he did fantastic in the leading role. Every frame of this movie has him in it. It's never like a, there's never a scene where it's, he's not in the frame somewhere. You know, it's always him. You always see him, and he does, he he's a great leading character in the movie. I loved his character. I felt for his character, and I felt for him. Not like that. Uh... Yeah, overall, he was great. And so was the supporting cast, I have to admit. Uh, Mark Ruffalo definitely surprised me in this. Uh, he plays his partner named Chuck. And he, oh, by the way, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's name in the movie is Teddy Daniels or Edward Daniels. I think Edward? Yeah, Edward Daniels. In this, they call him Teddy because he looks like a teddy bear. You gotta hug him. He's so nice looking. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he didn't hear that. Leonardo DiCaprio, if you're watching this, I ain't gay. He ain't watching this shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, Mark Ruffalo did great in this also. Uh, beginning, not really, didn't really feel his character, and then later on, I really started to like him and stuff. He definitely, you know, had some chemistry with Mark, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. They're both really good on screen. Uh, of course, we got, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, who a lot of people were talking about in this movie, saying, yeah, he had a great little part in there. And I have to admit, when I saw the trailer, I couldn't recognize him in that little part in the trailer. And in this movie, I could recognize him. He had the voice and stuff. And just, he was fantastic. I love Jackie Earl Haley. He's one of my new favorite, uh, actors, really. And I wouldn't say he's, like, new or, he's been around a long time. He's been around since freaking the, the original Bad News Bears, who he played the, pretty much the badass kid who could, Swing, I think. Swing really good? No, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. No, you could throw really good. Anyway, yeah, he did great. Also, Ben Kingsley, who is uh, awesome in everything, so might as well. Well, he's not awesome in everything. Blood, Blood Rain, he was pretty freaking terrible in. Uh, and Blood Rain was just bad overall. I don't even know how he, they got him for Blood Rain, to be honest. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, Max von Ch Cito, I think his name's Cito. Yeah, he's an old actor. He's been around for a long time. Uh, and he's also great in this. He has a very small role, though, so. Michelle Williams, Heath Ledger's wife. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Heath Ledger's former wife. Uh, I think they got, did they get divorced before they got, they, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna spread any rumors. Anyway, she's in this. She plays, uh, pretty much his wife that he keeps seeing throughout the movie. I don't wanna ruin anything, but, yeah, kinda small role for him. I mean, I mean him, uh-oh, for her. Uh, and also, Elias Coutiez, uh, she did okay, by the way. And Elias Coutiez, if you don't know him, if you've ever seen the original TMNT, guess what? He was, uh, what the hell is his name? The, the guy with the hockey mask. Ah, oh, freak. See, how do I forget these guys' names? Anyway, he, he was him, and he has a very small role in this. Very small, but I really liked it because he actually kind of looked badass. He's the guy with the scar, if you see the commercial. He actually kind of looked badass for his age. So, yeah, overall, and, and Jackie Earl Hale look fucked up, but he's always, oh, Casey Jones, there you go, from T TMNT. Anyway, overall, see, I told you it'll be pretty long for acting, so I gotta even this out because I didn't talk much about the story. So there you go, acting, the most important part of this film because that's where it really, really shines, even though the story is just fantastic, the, the acting was fantastic overall best part of the movie, but that's not saying much because everything else is fan-bloody-tastic. But let's go on to overall. I'm just going to go straight to the overall. Okay, just in case you blacked out from the last 10 seconds and you didn't hear what I said about the movie, uh, here's the overall. I'm just going to tell you, it's a it's a fantastic movie. I'm just going to say it right here. Fa my favorite movie of 2010, I mean, so far, just saying so far. Daybreakers used to be my favorite. This one just passed it. 
definitely my number one of the year so far, but that's not really saying much, is it? Anyway, because it's only been two and a half months, but seriously, this is definitely, I think it could be an Oscar cont uh, contender, and I think it could be uh, one of the best of the year so far. Anyway, reviewers weren't giving us such a great score. I don't know why, because, you know, they're all upset because, oh, woo is me. It's Martin Scorsese not doing another crime fucking movie. Whatever, shit. It is kind of like a crime, but it's not like a gangster and shit, you know, all that mafia stuff. He doesn't do, uh, uh, whatever, fuck it. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, that's my review of Shutter, Shutter Island. I know it was kind of short, kind of not informative. I'm just going to say right here, the performances are great. The tension was really good. And the story was fantastic, and the direction was great, the cinematography was good, and the sometimes, sometimes, very little special effects were cool. Like, uh, you've probably seen it in the trailer, like, when he's holding his wife and she just turns into ash and stuff. That was really cool. Just, overall, everything was fantastic. I loved the movie. If I could say one thing that was bad about it, if I have to say one thing, it was a little slow in parts. Just little parts. And then it just picked right back up. And the twist, a lot of people are saying, oh, the twist, the twisty, twisty two, the twisty, uh, wow, it's so bad. No, 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 no. I love the twist in this. I mean, I couldn't see it coming. To be, I mean, I kind of saw it coming, but the way they did it was, uh, yeah, just parts of it I didn't see coming. The main thing I kind of saw coming, but but lots of little parts there. I didn't, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So overall, fantastic movie. If I have to give it a score, I'm going to give it, for my serious rating, a 9.3 out of 10. Great movie. Go check it out. Love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, yeah, that was gay. Anyway, thank you and bye.